I got one. It's always the third, isn't it? I, <laughs> it, I, is, need, it I just is. need to warm up. What I need to do is two practice predictions before stream, and then I should be hitting my stride by the first one. We sure spread to everything now. So things like Bandit batteries um, and ADSs, they, they will just be on what they are coming into, um, and we'll see how that plays out. But so far, Alemo, he will be shut down to begin with PZD. Ooh, Patoxy, he looks for one as well. Straight through the banister, he will be banishing duds. Connect focus back over towards the doorway. Does get contact. Ooh, looks like Spider-Man's coming down from the grapple as he will connect the shot across on the Lagoon. of the sledge just waiting on, on reading door. But Patoxy, it will be to close out the sledge. And then Vitz gets in. The information being fed that there is an away time after time. Now then, coming through washroom. That is a big play from Hornertown. Not only does he get the kill, but he looks to be able to get towards his downed man. Bits him out. Let's Vitz go in for the kill onto Hugzoid. Flips him round the bar. Hits him with the ring around the roses. And will finish him off as the Nomad moves back through into Vitz. And that leaves us five versus four. Alemo will get one for himself. But this is what happens when the top floor isn't cleared out. Vertical angles now be worse when you look at the positional play that is there for Black Dragons. They have complete control of the diffuser and they don't even want to hold it. Instead, they want to close this round down. Some acrobatics from PZD. He'll peek out and punish in towards oh, the train. Out is down. Time ticks out. Duds has no choice but to dump the diffuser on the ground exactly where he is. It's oh. all for PZD. Damage inflicted onto Lagunis as well as it will soften him up, but he charges in. Still fuel the confidence. No follow-up frag there onto the ash though, unfortunately. He won't win out oh, in that overall no HP and has a critical job of trying to recover the diffuser. He'll be stuck in the room. Gas going over, but instead it'll be the bullets that ends him. Five seconds. Going the way of Black Dragons as they take it up to five so far on the first half. Chalk another one up to the clock there as the time ticks record away. Time. It's always down to their last minute site execution. But as we've seen, their site execution isn't being backed up. Once again, Alamau will get an opening kill though for the side events. We've seen to clutch this one, but Dud slays his teammates. He bites back, hitting the connection shot there. On to another man, but it's not going to matter as he's eventually gunned down. This could be the first of getting around. It all comes down to whether or not he can deny the diffuser here. He would have to track him down, give it a freebie. As the peak comes around, he has to get through the rotation hole and he can't dodge, dip and dive quick enough. Instead, he finally gets fragged out as he's spotted by Alamo on the buck. A clean 2k and finally a first round. Lagunas just getting himself trapped. They're taking that. damage across the board as well. Lagunas is also low. Timing could be everything as they look to dip their way out of there. He switches to the pistol but can't punish. Ten seconds left on the clock now. Vitz coming through with the org. A Butatau essentially acting as a human camera as he goes round the corner. PZD has to clutch it from this position. 19 bullets but no heart that's pounding in his chest as the round goes to Int. They'll win out that one and find the disable on the defuser. Really back and forth round there. Ints in charge for a lot of it. Black Dragon's able to get that diffuser down, but as you say, it was a last gasp effort, really. One versus quickly here by Black Dragons. A minute into the round, and they have got two kills on the board and top floor control. All defenders now forced the way. Oh, nightmare no. for Ints right now. Oh, it's a nightmare for Hugzord, all on his own there, just stuck inside two different smoke cannons. Ints here. PZD, a bit suspicious about the idea of someone being beneath him, but it's the same level he needs to be wary of. And he is. Levels out the playing field now, putting us back into... Now. Shots will come through from the dining room there, but the challenge comes on the corner and will be held by VNX from behind the bomb chassis. Drops to Ooh. the prone, will get taken down, but Alemo, right place, right time to trade out for Toxie. Very close from Ince there, leaving it right down to the wire. But they put round three on the board for themselves. Down to put themselves onto six. Hugzord having a bit of a struggle here as he plays around the shield. But as he drops his, he picks up the pistol and shows his prowess. Bludgeoning. Follow up here as well. The wild spam coming out can still do damage, but instead he fully commits to it. Issue is there's Nitro in the air, but there is sparks flying as well. Bullets raining in through PZD like a hailstorm. They'll rip their way through not one, but two of the defenders. A backstab onto Malusi is all that's required. She has no idea that he's in the rear, but it won't matter. She'll turn the corner and dance the dance of death against Patroxy as finally Black Dragons get themselves that sick round. 
Black Dragon's taking flight there. He knows that there could be some vertical play ahead of him. But he's still also got to worry about the ground level, as that's where the frag's going to come from. Vitz taking out his vital level man, side. making a mockery of them on the mozzie. You need to reposition yourself quickly, Hogsword. Nades come into him. Bonatow does go in, sees an opportunity, and starts to get the diffuser down. Challenged by Duds. That leaves it cold on the ground, and one versus four. Let's go to Ints as the clock ticks down. There we go. And punish them will of course get that breaching gadget out at least yes. also followed up with the selma breaches to try and tear that wall down but they're tearing down the numbers into the round as they get the opening pick onto duds the vertical play not going to work those patoxy on the rappel outside the window has been backhanded to him it's all exploded into a bit of a commotion well, leaving start putting it down. he's got the vertical cover there is everything in place that they need but they're unaware of bits on the backstab huge double from him and that is going to be round two Surely drunk shuts down Hornetow. Huge play from Vitz. And that is exactly what Ince needed. They take the round 6-5. We're going all the way 55 to... 55 seconds left. Time ticking away. So is the likelihood of Ince being able to pick up this round as their manpower gets worse and worse. But the second, although peeking up from behind the desk, we see some damage done by the Maestro, but it's not enough. PZD fully committing to getting the diffuser down. In the meantime, VNX has been clocked. And he has been clapped by Patoxy. Cleans it up for Black Dragons as they will raise hell in the end. Stop Securing. That. Yeah, nothing too surprising. I think we probably could have called those beforehand. And it means once again that the position nice and quick. They start opening up that dorm's wall. Try to get aggressive, but Hornetow shut down on a tight angle from Duds there. That was really, really Not nice. Alpha PZD. This is where it gets a little bit rough as well. The clash can come around and shock you, but the real shocking play is going to be Alamal. Hits him with a business. Falls. The clash could essentially just walk in and bully him, but in the end, Alamal decides he wants to make it a hat trick. Rocks up with Big Papa Pump, introduces him. And that will shut down the round. Clash very disruptive on that round. We saw the challenge. To see exactly what he can do. He's got himself in behind and a great opener onto Duds. It does not matter that the proxy Pistol, alarm. but he can't land the shots. Chasing him back, running through the servers. But will he be served by the shotty? Of course he will. Bullets to the feet. They go flying. He's not going to have to buy shoes anymore. But they might not have a chance of securing the round. Drunk mounts more pressure onto him. Does he know outside the window? The pre-fire from PZD off the back of the audio cue nearly gave the game away, but he still bypasses him. Zofia will pick it up, stunning him into the round and shutting that one down. Another Seconds one. Seconds here, if push comes to shove, tries to do something before he dies, dropping the shield, donning the pistol, but he won't get a kill. He'll just get killed. 40 seconds left. PZD charges through the window, but he is done for. Overpowered by the SMG in close proximity there by VNX, as Ince snap up another one. Hugzord left with absolutely no option on the Montagne there, but to go for the self sacrifice. You see they're close by as well because it kicks off. He kicks off by dropping two of them and cleans house him. Great start from there. Duds, massive double kill for his team. Four versus two with Clash still on the board. One of them, Amonte, very difficult. Left in the same situation for Hugzord once again. And that was to just drop the shield and try to take somebody with him. Duds hits a third on the round to close things out. And this one is going all the way towards Ince at the minute. Oh, anecdotal evidence has been that it's quite situational. It's quite in specific locations. PZD getting situational onto Vitz there, taking his head out Age of this. control, Tim. They're making moves into the round time to start thinking about getting that diffuser down potentially oh! but they will be unable to as vnx gets a huge tree nose it will free up the valkyrie to make that challenge lmo takes potoxy oh! and a nice dip to the side hits his shots on the gornis and wipes him out of the kitchen there will be no cooking for him tonight lmo is the one cooking with down death. on the ground this is starting to mount badly for black dragons lmo and vitz move in they get the kills before the diffuser can be activated and that's now 6-2 to wince and they are cruising to a victory here on oregon Bullets through the floorboards, but the man that gets down, broken and shattered in half there, will be VNX, suffering the same face as Vitz as he peeks in. He does tag Lagonis and to a down but not out state, but they're the ones that go out in the round. Black Dragons gets another one as they keep themselves alive for at least a little bit Leaving us here in a free versus free. Vitz, he spots him, but it's a little bit too late. It's a panic spray and it's not going to save the day. This Arabian caused in the round here. Oh, no. 
Patoxy set ablaze by the Goyo shield. The flames on the ground. Essentially the Molotov that will burn him to a crisp. He goes down in a great ring right, of fire. Just being exchanged back and forward. Just power moves from either side. And nobody able to really get a full-on grasp of that. There he is. JP, how you doing, brother? Hi, guys. Pretty good, pretty good. Awesome, man. Obviously, you know, commiserations back on the first map of Cafe, but congratulations picking up the win there on Oregon. I, I do want to talk to you a little bit about Cafe to start with, just as it, it looked like a different roster, if I'm honest, from especially back on Play Day 1. You guys came out looking fresh. It felt like it wasn't the same level of confidence as we had seen previously. Uh, yeah, I will say that the Play Day 1 was basically uh, we are... In console, we start a little bit slow, mm -hmm. and we didn't find the right way to counter and play Inferia because they are a new roster, two new players, and was kind of unpredictable game on why or how they are playing. Mm. So it was a difficult team to make a raid. So our first loss, I will say that probably was that that caused that. But in Cafe, then. We start a little bit slow as well, but uh, the servers are kind of laggy. Mm. Uh, and of course, they play better and their defense side. And when we turn to defense side, we're uh, basically kind of have have to to do a perfect side to win the match. We, we didn't, so that was cost cafe. But Oregon, we are pretty pretty confident. Uh, Yesterday, I kind of took six or seven times of my, my day to study Black Dragons on Oregon. So, hard work pays, pays off. <laughs> it definitely it does. <laughs> it certainly does. JP, so far, play day one and two, you've looked a little bit slow on the attack. A lot of executes have been left until very late where you've been shut down. But the last few rounds on Oregon there, they seem to be a lot more aggression, a lot more pace. Is that something that you actively tried to bring? Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and Igor, we are calling on TeamSpeak to be more aggressive, kind of more confident because our attack side in Cafe, we're not, that confident, low, and a little things like cam Valkyrie cameras. Uh, we are not paying attention on, on the drone stage. And that makes uh, we die for C4s, like basic things that we are basically doing, basically doing because we're not attained and focused. It. So when we try on we start Oregon, I, I told the guys, focus guys, confidence that we're going to win. We know everything they want to do and we are going to win. So basically was that that makes sense man i i was just a little bit curious as well uh, obviously been asking around just seeing what we've seen across the board from teams during the off and between one and stage two i just wondered what it looks like it's been looking like from your front jp from the coach perspective what's it been like in the team between stage one and now uh we did a better preparation of course uh, the trainees were more 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 quality than quantity so mm. We're we better preparation for this this split. The tactical stuff that we did for uh, this split of the tournament was better as well. So was a better preparation overall for the second split of the the beer six, and we think that it may pays off in the future. So we'll see. Vitz has been playing really, really well so far, JP. Is that having a real positive impact within the team? He's been putting up a lot of kills and you can sort of start to rely on that a little bit. I will say uh, something about Vitz here. He has a girlfriend now. Maybe it was that that made <laughs> him playing better. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, if it's working for him, it's working. He was looking really good on the server. Of course. JP, mate, honestly, it's always a treat when we get to have a chat. Thanks again for popping on, brother, and congratulations for picking up the map on Oregon. Is there anything you want to say, of course, to any of the fans out there that have been supporting Ints? Keep cheering for us, guys. We are bringing this major spot. Believe me, that's the split. We're going to do it. That's all. Thank you, guys. It's always an honor to talk with you. That's it. Thank you, man. Have a good night, dude. Again, congratulations. Hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Cheers, JP. Thanks a lot, man. Bye.